In this video, how to distinguish a Juni teapot from a Honey teapot and avoid fakes in your next shopping of Ishin teapot. Keep watching. Hi guys, this is Gabriele from Nanoshan, where we share the pleasure of discovering and drinking genuine farm tea. And today we are going to enhance that pleasure with fine teaware, like these two Ishin teapots. If you're new here and you look forward to expand your tea knowledge and brewing skills, then make sure to click on the subscribe button. Before we start uh, looking in detail into this teapot, let's speak actually about which is the difference between Honni and Juni. The difference actually is uh, very simple. They are two different ores from which the clay is derived. Now, Honni means uh, red mud, or if you want, red clay. It is a very wide range of different clays and you can have Honni of very high quality, but also honey that are so-so. They are both honey, but from the second kind, I wouldn't really do tea out of them. Juni means vermilion mud or vermilion clay. It is actually also red clay, so you could consider it as a subcategory of the honey, but due to its characteristics, is actually usually accounted a part of it. Um, usually you will hear um, saying that uh, Juni has a more orange red color than Hongni and also that the texture is more shiny. Both these criteria are in my opinion a little bit too generalizing, yeah, it's not really always the case and I will tell you soon why. And by the way, since actually many people believe that Juni has to be darker and more orange in color, what the often producers do is adding chemicals to Onni so that it resembles the color of a Juni. So what you want to do, if possible, you take your teapot, you smell it and it doesn't have to have any smell at all. And now let's have a look at the first real difference between Juni and Hongni the shrinking rate. When you put a Juni in a kiln and you fire it, it will shrink more than a honey. A honey usually shrinks about 15%, while a Juni between 20 and 25%. Uh, I will try to show that to you. So let's put uh, the two teapots here. Um, I don't know really actually if through the camera you can see that they are slightly different sizes, although they were made out of the same form, out of the same shape. So before firing, they were exactly the same. Uh, this is about a few millimeters taller and it is about half a centimeter longer. Look at this. If I just remove the lids, sorry, and I place the Juni on the Honni, it has some clearance, some play. But if I put uh, the honey lid on the Juni, it doesn't fit because the Juni is smaller. Now I know that uh, you don't often have two pots of the same size uh, or let's say made out of the same mold to compare the size. Sometimes it's possible, both these teapots will be available on our tea shop and we will put a link in the description below. Uh, it could be that they will be online a little bit after we release this video, but keep an eye on them. Anyway, if you don't have the option to compare the two with each other, let's see what you can do. We said that Juni is actually denser. You can feel and see that. If you use your eyes, you would see that actually a Honni usually has a more sandy texture with respect to a Juni. Also, if you take a Juni in your hands and you feel it, you have, um, you have the sensation that is actually like a stone, like a rock. Sometimes it even has a metal feeling to it. But if you take a, a honey in your hands, it's a more of a sandy feeling. Now, um, this is not too much the case if it is good quality honey, but if it is poor quality, then you would really feel that it uh, that is kind of porous and uh, a little bit sandy. 
And another thing you can do is to hair to the pot. So what I mean, if you take off the lid and you just go over it, I don't know if you can hear that here the pitch is higher. I will try also in another way, just beating them. Let's try to do it closer to each other. I hope you can hear that here the pitch is a little bit higher. You can do this comparison actually only between a teapot that are the same size and the same shape, otherwise the shape would influence the sound. But usually this is a check you can do always. If you have a teapot and you beat on it and it doesn't have a high pitch, most probably it is low density. Now I told you before that you cannot really rely on the color or on the texture. Why? The color depends very much from the temperature at which the clay it is fired. If you look for example at Duanni teapot, you can have very very different color because some Duanni can be fired at higher temperature. So the same is valid for Hongni and Juni. So you can have a Hongni that are a little bit darker or a little bit uh, um, paler depending on the temperature they have been fired. Another difference is we say the texture, but also here is not true that the Juni is always more shiny. It is the case for these two, but it really depends also on the dimension, the size of uh, the particles from which they are done. They are made out of stone and this stone is uh, um, grounded and when it is grounded you can have very fine particles or you can have a little bit rougher particles and both are good but of course gives you a different texture. So now we'll speak about the density. Let's speak about another difference. We say that um, the shrinking rate is higher for Juni. This means that you cannot do Juni from a very big teapot because when it shrinks it would break in the kiln. It's very very rare to find uh, uh, Juni teapot that are larger than 150 milli milliliters. So if you see a teapot that is more than 150 milliliters or even much larger than that and they say it is a Juni, at least doubt that. And now we come to a last criteria to tell Juni and Honni apart. Tasting. So Honni we say that is less dense, a little bit coarser and this influences the taste of the tea. It smooths smooth down the taste of the tea. So it is very well suitable for very bitter and intense young sheng puer or for example for fresh rock tea that are heavily roasted because the clay would smooth down a little bit the bitterness, would smooth down the roast and you would really feel better the, the fragrance of the tea. Juni is much denser, it's much similar to a guy one. So it's very ideal actually for very floral or very fragrant tea, like for example some Taiwan oolongs or some Tie Guanyin, some Danzong, I really like it with Danzong actually. So in that case it doesn't really affect the aroma of the tea. You, if you have the chance, you can do a comparison between the Juni and a Gai one, and the Juni doesn't have to reduce the aroma of the tea. In some cases for tea that have to be steeped at very high temperature actually they might render even better in a Juni than in a Gai one because the Juni keep better the heat in between steeps. While if you do the same comparison with the Honni and you steep for example a very heavily roasted Ui Yen Cha with a Honni and a Gai one, then in the Gai one you would feel much more the roasting and you would miss a little bit all the other nuances of the tea. So let's summarize which are the differences that we have listed in this video. First of all, the shrink rate. We say that if two teapots are made out of the same mold, a Juni will shrink more and will be smaller. Then we say the Juni is denser. It means that um, it feels more like a rock in your hands, more like a metal feeling, and it doesn't look sandy at all. And then we said the tasting. The taste of the tea is different. Juni is more neutral and enhance the aroma of very fragrant tea, while honey is more suitable for heavily roasted or very bitter teas. 
I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and if you would like to see more of this kind of comparison between different kind of teaware and different kind of teas, let us know please in the comment below. Should be the first time that you are here, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, all of you, and to subscribe our channel and more and more video will come your way very soon. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.